Prince Harry steps out solo and looks dapper in a tuxedo to accept award. The Duke of Sussex made his first public appearance of the year. The Duke of Sussex made his first appearance of 2024 on Friday, January. As he was inducted into the living legends of aviation and gave a lovely speech, thanking others, not only accepting it for himself. Prince Harry, made a solo appearance, despite rumours his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex would be joining him. As he was honoured for his work as a British Army veteran, skipping the red carpet. And sneaking into the Beverly Hilton Hotel, in Beverly Hills, California, via the back doors. Wearing a black velvet tuxedo, paired with a white shirt, the father of two was put on the spot by host John Travolta in the actor's opening remarks. With a Greece star asking the audience, what can you remember about your first flight? And the royal then remarked, it's classified, to laughter from the room. Prince Mario Max Chambreglip, who appeared on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, shared a picture from inside the ballroom, after taking a selfie with Harry, and he later spoke about the encounter. I am very very happy that he is the focus of the night, and he deserves it, he said, adding. He has been through a lot being so public and it is a very personal moment of joy for him. What I like to do is congratulate him for the big award, and I think we all should. How many big moments in life do we all have? It is very few and this is a very big moment. I congratulated him for being such an accomplished pilot, and I saw that he was very touched. It is a big award and it is very well deserved. He gave the most lovely speech, thanking others, not only accepting it for himself but also the aviation industry for making things happen, such as, engineers. I am very happy, for, him. He is fabulous, very humble and sweet. All guests at the gala were also given model airplanes and helicopters to take home with them. Twilight director Catherine Hardwick was in attendance to celebrate her friend Lauren Sanchez, and she called the prince's speech poetic. He talked about taking off and being up in God's playground, up in the clouds. And he talked about the taste of magic, being up there, it was poetic, she shared. Lauren Sanchez, who is engaged to Jeff Bezos, received the Elling Halverson Vertical Flight Hall of Fame Award. Catherine earlier told that the evening was dazzling, joking that her head was going to explode. At the idea of being in the same room as British royalty. Gregory Fight was honored by the organization in 2016 after a lifetime in aviation safety and he praised the induction of Harry for drawing young people to the industry, and that's what it is all about. Getting young people involved, and Prick Harry, and his name and accomplishments, draws attention to an organization like this. The event was set up in 2003 to honor those who make significant contributions to aviation and aerospace. The Duke completed two tours of Afghanistan as a forward air controller and an Apache helicopter pilot. Having flown countless training missions in the UK, US and Australia. He served for 10 years in the military, rising to the rank of captain. This year's recipients also included US Navy pilot Fred George and former world speed record holder Steve Hinton. Announcing the news earlier this month, the awards website said. Prince Harry is a humanitarian, military veteran, mental wellness advocate and environmentalist. He has dedicated his life to advancing causes that he is passionate about and that bring about permanent change for people and places. Following his army career, Harry has continued to support his fellow servicemen and women. The Duke founded the Invictus Games in 2014, an international adaptive multi-sport event in which wounded, injured or sick armed services personnel and veterans participate. It celebrates the power of sport in recovery, and how it can help physically or psychologically, those suffering from injuries or illness. Prince Harry was awarded his flying wings. Harry spent three one half years in training and operational service with the Apache Force during his time with the Army Air Corps. Winning the prize for best co-pilot gunner during training and becoming a fully operational Apache pilot in February 2012. Prince Harry wore a classic black tux to the black tie event. Inside, he took a photo with Prince Mario Max Chambreglip, who posted a smiling selfie on Instagram. The living legends of aviation also praised the Duke of Sussex as the creator of the Invictus Games, the Paralympic-style sporting competition for wounded service personnel and veterans he launched in 2014.
the release of his memoir Spare last year. The Duke of Sussex spoke about his experience in the British Army and his deeply personal work with service members. I don't know that you ever fully reconcile the painful elements of being at war. This is something each soldier has to confront. And in the nearly two decades of working alongside service personnel and veterans, I've listened to their stories and have shared mine, Prince Harry told. In these conversations, we often talk about the parts of our service that haunt us. The lives lost, the lives taken. But also the parts of our service that heal us and the lives we've saved, he said. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.